I'm dealing with four dads from the Mary Lee today. So for Sunday, my city, Chicago, April the 7th, 2024. Look, it's obvious, y'all. So-called slaves with y'all slave mentality, they didn't want nothing out of life. You understand what I'm saying? So the originals, like myself, Mary Lee, a.k.a. Mary Mac, your ghetto news reporter, had to put in all the work with my people who was, wasn't scared to stand up for the ones who was hiding behind, you understand what I'm saying? Stealing and keeping us down and snitching and tricking on real motherfuckers so they can eat and, you know, cause you know, the devil got their picks also. And I got one in the fucking security room want to play with the dough every time I come in and stuff. Real motherfucking talk. But I fucking got them took the picture when I got in here. 6210 South Carolina, I got in Chicago, North 60637, apartment 308 at 148. And I took the picture at 146. You understand? Don't play with me. Look, you can't look. You it can't be a house divided. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all niggas was bums when I got here in 2017. Now they got a little something going on. The devil gonna give you my money. They not gonna give you your money or they money. They gonna go after the motherfucker that's worth the most. That's why they keep keeping me down and stuff. And I keep trying to tell these dumb motherfuckers. They don't like us. So let me tell you about my church. Because it's my church. We built that motherfucker. Real nigg niggas with our money and stuff. They talking about black dollars matter. Hell, motherfuckers that look like me. Any motherfucker that spent money with me back in the day when I was selling general merchandise in the streets for over 20 years. Brown and the Girl Scout. Whoever spent money, that their money mattered. Until motherfuckers start, you know, realizing that I was becoming more than they anticipated for me and stuff. And now everybody want to act as if. They can't remember where them, you know, ideas and things of that nature came from. So long story short, I leave here to go to church. Right away, security, Jarrell, like, like tweeting shit out, right? They My every move was a calculated step, just like uh, Tupac said, real fucking talk in the 90s, right? Long story short, okay, I understand he got a job to do, but nigga, you're doing, too, you're doing it too goddamn well now. You're a professional snitch now, real fucking talk. So I'm on my way. To the church, right? This one lady, this guy, first of all, he get out his car right on time, you know, you know, showing me they got a car. Who cares, nigga? I didn't have cars, clothes, holes, and all that shit before. I could have been a lot further if I wasn't trying to be me and that's tell this truth and stuff. See, when you get up there, you can't talk like this. Oprah Winfrey can't talk like this. Barack Obama can't talk like this. Michelle Obama can't talk. So I'm the voice, motherfucker, for the voiceless and shit. For the ones who scared to talk because they didn't took the bribe and shit like the Bible always talk about. Long story short, you know, I keep going. Some lady, she had a, a hand in her pocket like I supposed to be scared. Nigga, if y'all gonna kill me, kill me. I don't care. I'm trying to check out anyway. What part you understand? That's why I talk like this. Long story short. I keep going and stuff, and then this old lady, she kind of like, you know, merged with me or whatever and stuff, and then some other people was about to go in the door, and, you know, and this, this guy, he was holding the door for him and stuff, so I went in the other door because every time I they hold the door for me, they want to call me a man and stuff, you know, even though I don't drink, drill, smoke, or fornicate, I'm probably more of a lady than the one they holding the door for. I'm just saying, you know, I'm a comedian also, but I'm going to tell you the truth because even when I joke, I ain't joking. Long story short, I'm thinking I'm getting past the riffraff. But they got this, they they on point with everything. It's like a game with them and shit. I, I got to get her. I got to get her. You understand what I'm saying? And this one guy, he a light-skinned guy, older guy. And he's he's got gray hair and a receding hairline. And he got a ponytail that's a that's dreads. You know, he had dreads at one time. You could tell. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, when you get old, you, they don't want to cut it off and stuff. He going to come down the stairs. And he has been bugging me since forever, right? You understand what I'm saying? Calling me a man and stuff. He come downstairs as I'm going up, talking about, what's up, man? I said, your mama. You understand what I'm saying? Since y'all want to play, because obviously there's no Christians in there, just heathens and stuff. So, you know, I could play either way. I'm a Gemini, real tough. And I haven't fully given myself to, you know, my higher power, because I told my higher power, you know, I'm going to put this work in you for real. So me and my higher power, we got an agreement. I don't know about their God or whatever and stuff. Long story short. Me and my guy, we doing just fine, right? So I'm getting upstairs. And I'm trying to get to the seat where I usually sit at. Nobody governs the seats, right? Long story short, this lady, older lady, she come running. I ain't never seen her before, right? And sit in the seat that I usually sit in, you know, the, the row. You understand what I'm saying? And so I sat in the row behind her because I know the lady, 
church lady who um, I usually, you know, you know, I've been friended somewhat. You understand? Not really just in church or whatever. You know, we we on a, you know, hey, how you doing sometime, you know, conversation. You know what I'm saying? So I, I felt more comfortable sitting in, in that row where she usually sit, right? You understand what I'm saying? And then, so I'm asking the lady, you know, hey, hey, how you doing? I never seen you before, you know, and she took her jacket off or whatever. I guess she thought I was going to help her out of her coat. Never did. Never did. Mm-mm. No, see, I'm different with every person I meet, and they try to figure me out, right? And But she was suited and booted, right? She was dressed in IT and everything, you know, but I could tell that she was on some drama, right? Just by she, how she was running to that seat. Long story short, she... She, I said, you know, ma'am, you know, what's your name? You understand what I'm saying? She said, if that's all you want, I said, ma'am, that's not what, you know, I'm, I come just to try to get relieve pressure or stress or whatever in so many words and stuff, you know, and she was like, uh, Bernadette, I said, okay, like them are for good times, right? And she was like, no, no, her name is, um, Bernice. I said, no, her name is Bernadette. You understand what I'm saying? And now this lady, she got a Steve Madden person. I'm reading her whole body language conversation and everything because you gotta remember i've been in sales all my life right you understand what i'm saying so i know who was gonna try to rob me who was gonna try to spend some money who wasn't gonna spend no money who was on some bs you understand what i'm saying so i understand i'm a good judge of character when i want to be i don't like thinking all the time but this time i was thinking this shit right and sure enough she was wrong you know what i'm saying i said no her name is bernadette you understand what i'm saying she stopped thinking but she was the one that was wearing the steve madden you know person you know Madden is uh, John Madden psych ward back in the day for the uh, veterans and, you know, in Hines, Illinois. And that's where they put me in 1995 when I put my voice to three cassette tapes front and back to the sound of music and the Martin Luther King. I have a dream speech and gave it to Oprah and gave a, a set to the garbage can, you know, when I was staying in Hyde Park, 54, uh, 19, uh, South Woodline apartment. One eight. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And at the time, I didn't even know that Elijah Muhammad stayed right down the street. You understand what I'm saying? And Malcolm X had a house. You know, so all this stuff added up after the fact. But yeah, so I'm asking her, you know, and stuff, and I'm reading her body language. She said, you could come sit here. Now, church lady hasn't came yet, the one that I, you know, am familiar with or whatever and stuff. And I was like, no, I'm good. I'm going to stay right here. You know what I'm saying? As soon as church lady came, this is what happened now. This is how quick she switched on me and how I knew she wasn't the, the older lady that was 70 years old. You understand? And she said she hadn't been in church since, you know, COVID. So I said, what, three, four years? And she was like, no, it was more like two or three years. I said, mm, but anyway, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? So here comes church lady. She go, and the lady, Bernadette, pulled up her, you know, like her skirt to let her s seem as though I was trying to act like a man towards her when she wanted me to sit next to her so church lady could feel some kind of way. See, I tell my Mary McAmyras and my family and the ones that trying to be all cool and whatever, I say, you can't have that much um, um, whatever with me because people get jealous and stuff. Real talk, they know who I am. The lady act like she didn't know who I am. You understand what I'm saying? Or who I was. You understand what I'm saying? Or is. You understand? And I said, if you ask the question nine times out of ten, you know who I am. Because you ran to the seat, ma'am. But we ain't gonna go we ain't gonna go back and forth on that. But yeah, so church lady didn't sit next to me, right? You understand? She went to sit in the front row, right? And that's the that's the um aisle that the lady said she usually sit in. So if she really sat in that row from the beginning and she just took a break, why wouldn't she go back to that row if she wasn't trying to start some stuff? So me being respectful, I said, look, you can have your seat. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, I don't got a problem with that. But I, I wanted her to know that the lady was the one starting the stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I would have sat there. You know what I'm saying? I, if, if I would have made it to it to that seat first, but the lady and I didn't know the lady, so I didn't sit there. That's common sense. So church lady, to sum it up, sat in her seat. She came on back. You understand what I'm saying? And I told the lady, I say, see, it's about respect. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I didn't come for the drama, and I sat in the front row. And now this is how God work and stuff. I looked at my clock, my phone, you know, and I picked it up. And everybody's seen it. It was 941. Now the bombs dropped Pearl Harbor 
1941. And I dropped it like rappers drop the mic on the, um, you know, on the seat, right? And then I picked it up again at 950. But by the time I tried to take the picture, it turned to 951. But they seen it, right? And I picked it up a third time at 955. On God, nigga. Three strikes, she out. See, y'all keep playing like it's a game. But when them bombs drop, you gonna know it's not no game. So while y'all keep calling me a man and this, that, and the third, look, it's gays in the military and on the police force. That's why I bought this hat. I'm going to color it in, you know, gay. <laughs> for real. Colors, for real. But they always try to lead the girls out. So to sum it up, you know, I left, you know, when they was having people come, you know, give their life to God, you know. And, you know. <laughs> I left, and I talked to the head security guard. You know, his name is uh, Marcus, right? And, I, you know, I hadn't seen him before, you know, and he and me and church lady had a weird situations, so I figured I could talk to him. I said, man, you know I'm a girl. Quit playing. Tell the rest of them, you understand what I'm saying, to stop disrespecting me, real talk. And, you know, I don't know what it is with them people, but they like to touch you. I say, see, see, that's the problem. Because if I touch y'all, you know, you're going to run and say some. You know, weird stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So just respect, you know, real talk. So obviously, it's probably never going to happen and stuff. But it ain't going to stop me from uh, not going. All it's going to do is bring attention and awareness. Because look, they talk about $30 million and they still ain't fixed that light. You know what I'm saying? That supposed to tell what's going on with the church. It's been out for three years. All right. Now, come on now. Y'all need to quit playing. It's not about you know, getting right. It's about them trying to control you, your every move. That's why they keep taking everything from me. That's why I don't have nothing. If I don't drink drugs, smoke, or fornicate, nigga, I'm supposed to have some shit. Real fucking talk. You understand what I'm saying? And it's 27 years of sobriety almost. That's why they gave me cancer in 2016, because they wanted to kill me so they could keep playing the game so I wouldn't be able to tell the people who they didn't know that was mentally dead in Christ and everything else. See, they still trying to do pimping and pandering and shit. But them days is over with because everybody got a phone. All you got to do is Google some shit. Now, older people trying to keep shit going because they want to live longer, right? And that's why I was telling that lady, look, you know, I don't play them games because I'm just as old as her. I'll be 57. She's 70. What's the difference? See, they listen to me in my room doing my thing or whatever, and they think they can, you know, figure me out. You have no idea. When I pulled them, got, when I picked up that phone three times, and the first one was 941. That should have been enough right there to prove that today is the seventh. This is the seventh. Okay? That's completion all day. You understand what I'm saying? If you can do that, then I'll listen and let you control me. Until then, kick rocks in the past of man. And you wonder why people go and um, shoot up the church and stuff like that. Because you all up in their business. Give me my money. I come for my money. I didn't come for flirting and all that. I come to save the people y'all was trying to kill. This the 12. 721 is Featherfist's phone number. And the one on the floor is the 11. If I was gambling, you'd be dead. Real fucking toke. Look at the 11. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. I don't wear this God is dope for nothing. Because God is dope. If I'm winning all the time, that's money all fucking day. You understand what I'm saying? And they using me to build up their fucking clientele again because they getting old and they ain't got no gain. He used the word lit in the past and he about 70-something. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to act young and grow old gracefully. That's all I was trying to do. Money, Mississippi. This is the 14th. I want my money. One more. This is the 15. Oprah. Let's go one more just to piss them off. It takes two to make a thing go right. You try to fucking shit on me after I helped you. You motherfucker. We're going to go again just to piss them off. This is the nine. The two and the nine. So I must not be lying. Her birthday is on the 29th. And she used my ex-girlfriend, I mean, uh, Lawanda Joy Jacobs. Look, I'm the originator of rap since the age of eight. There you go. Step your game up. Peace.